Okay, so this is my 13 inch Craftsman planer. And I've had several requests about um, an explanation on this box that I built to attach to this planer. The uh, dust hood that was made for this is no longer available. It's no longer being made. I couldn't find one on eBay or couldn't find an aftermarket. So I just took some three quarter inch plywood, some MDF and created my own. I had to build this piece by piece to be able to get this to fit. Um, but I'm more than happy to take this apart, uh, show you how I did it, and maybe you can gain something um, from what I did to uh, build one for yours. So let's get in here and take this apart. Okay, so you can see these screws. There's one and there's one. Now, uh, when I take those out, uh, this whole unit should just slip right off of here. So let me go ahead and hopefully focus will stay so you can see what's going on. But basically I'm just taking these screws out. Okay, so I've got the screws out up here up top. You just saw me take those two out. And I think it's jammed in here, yeah. See, it just fit right over the, right over the top. Okay, so let's just take this over to um, the table. We'll take a closer look at this. Okay, so I've got, I've got the uh, shroud off and I'm just going to actually just take this top piece off here so you can kind of see what's going on on the inside. Okay. Okay, so basically this top piece is just a piece of uh, MDF, just a real thin piece of MDF. And what I've done is I've cut a hole in that in the center, put my blast gate in there and just taped the inside and I uh, trimmed that out so it wouldn't restrict any airflow. And so that's the top part. That's what goes on the top of this box that I've created. Now, let me empty this real quick. Okay. All right, so basically what I did, um, this whole cutout here is what matches up to my planer. And so that's really the only piece that matters. Except, well, let me take that back. These pieces here, have to be uh, a certain height because of the way my planer is made. Uh, this back piece just uh, is the same height as the sides. And then it's just got a bottom in it. So basically it's just a box with a custom front on here. So let me take you back to the planer. This whole piece here, um, from there all the way to this other side over here, just fits onto these two pieces here and it's a really snug fit and that's that's a little bit of what's hold what holds it in place other than these two screws up top so basically i just cut this opening out wide enough for this um, chip exhaust here so when this is in place and like i said it's a it's a pretty good pretty good fit and so that that's in place there and see it's it's a friction fit I mean it's it's not falling or anything I still have room under here but you don't want the bottom of you don't want this bottom here to hang down below this because this is where your uh, workpiece will exit the planer. And so if this is hanging down below that, then your workpiece is gonna hit it and jam it up and potentially kick it back out the front. So once I have it in place, I'm lining up these pieces here, even with this, um, 
this part of the planer. I'm not even sure what that is. This portion here is what this cutout's for. Right there. And in my case, on this particular planer, I had to trim off the edges here, the corners, these corners here, because there's some screws in place. So you just have to build it little by little, and then eventually you will get it. Okay. You see that? That is where the wood, your workpiece, is going to be exiting. So it's entered in from the other side and it comes out this way. If this piece is hanging down past the metal part of the planer, well, your workpiece is going to grab that. It's going to catch and potentially kick back toward um, the end feed. Okay, so that covers the dust box for this planer. Now, if you're one of the ones that reached out to me uh, to cover this, uh, I hope this answers your question. If it didn't, uh, feel free to um, reach out to me again. Contact me in the same manner you did before. I'll be glad to answer any questions you have or if I need to take pictures or just anything. Uh, as far as the box goes, the box is pretty much self-explanatory. It's got a bottom. It's got... Uh, three sides and um, one side that's got a cutout to allow the dust chips or the chips to be uh, exhausted into this box. Now the opening that I've cut out matches the opening on the planer so I mean that that should um, be self-explanatory as well. Now these little pieces over here they're there just to, to provide support uh, to keep from rocking up and down and side to side. So your your setup may be a little different unless you have this, this exact planer. Um, the only thing that's holding this together are these two little pieces on the sides, these little ears as I call them. Uh, they're friction fit um, on the sides of the metal part of the dust shroud. They're just uh, a little bit too tight and it, that's on purpose. Uh, for like, like I said, for a friction fit. Now this top piece has a couple of screws up top um, that the screw holes were already there, but if yours didn't have any, you know, you might get away with um, tapping a few screw holes and just using some really short screws. You just need to make sure that you're not going into where the blades are spinning or anything like that. Now, another important uh, part of this puzzle is on the underneath side that I just showed you. You don't want uh, this box hanging down into the path of the exit of the workpiece uh, because if this is hanging down even a 16th, a 32nd, whatever, I mean, it could be minute, uh, but if the workpiece hits it and bounces back just a little bit, um, that's potential kickback out the front. I have had kickback out of a planer before. Um, it's when I used to use it on the ground and it hit me right in the ankle and it does not feel good. So just be careful with that. Don't block anything in the path of the exit or the outfeed of your planer. Um, other than that, it's, uh, I don't think you'll have a problem figuring out a, um, a solution to your uh, dust and chips for your planer. It takes a little bit of creativity, maybe a little bit of work, um, but you'll get it. I had to build this piece by piece just to custom fit everything. And so if I can do it, you guys can do it. Uh, like I said, if you have, have any more questions, uh, please feel free to contact me. And uh, if there's anything else I can do for you guys, let me know. All right, guys. Thanks. And until next time, see you later.